hi guys so we have this problem and the simple harmonic motion uh, so let's see how we can go about it so we have a body which is executing simple harmonic motion with a velocity at its mean position which is uh, one meters per second and uh, the acceleration at one of its extremities is uh, 1.57 meters per second squared the question is requiring us to calculate the period of vibration now it's important to note that in this question we only have uh, two quantities it's just the velocity and the acceleration so let's see how we can find how we can solve this question okay so let's see what we've been given in the question we have been given velocity for which our velocity is one meter per second then we have also been given the value of acceleration of which our acceleration is 1.57 meters per second squared so now that we have these two, we can go ahead and um, calculate uh, the period. Please note that period is found by, time period is found by 2 pi over angular frequency. Then in case you have been asked to find uh, the frequency, we can say frequency is equals to 2 pi omega, of which omega is representing the angular frequency. So from what we have, we can say that uh, in simple harmonic motion, the maximum acceleration is given by the formula amplitude times omega squared. So this is just a formula for maximum acceleration. Then we also have maximum velocity. The maximum velocity is given by amplitude multiplied by omega. So we need to know these two formulas. Then we can use these two to calculate um, the angular frequency. If we have the angular frequency, it can help us to find the period. So what we're going to do is, uh, since we have these two formulas, let's see how we can combine them. So we're going to say, we shall, we shall divide acceleration, acceleration over the velocity. So let's divide the two. So from the these two formulas we can say acceleration a which is acceleration maximum divided by velocity maximum like this so what's the formula for acceleration we have a omega squared divided by velocity we have a omega now remember that acceleration were given to be acceleration was 1.57 also velocity we had one like this so now if you look at this relationship that we created here it's obvious that we can just form this equation that we have here so that we find the value of omega what will happen here is the amplitude will cancel out omega will also cancel out meaning that we're only remaining with omega here so omega is equals to this side we just have 1.57 over 1 so omega is equals to 1.57 rads per second. So now that we have the angular frequency, we can easily calculate the period. So we said that period is equals to 2 pi omega. So this is as good as saying 2 pi divided by uh, 1.57. So what does this give us? So we simply get four seconds because we know that time period is measured in seconds. So this is how we find the period for this particular question. Thank you very much.